Yo, pork scratching connoisseur here, episode 32, I think. Hopefully, that's correct. Now, what have we got today? We're not in the bedroom, we're not in the village, we're in Cambridgeshire, or well, no, Cambridge town, um, at the uh, Cambridge Beer Festival, um, which is a jolly nice event. Um, and it's not been on for a few years because of COVID and stuff. And what we've got, they're on a break at the moment been in there but I got a bag of pork scratchings of course I have uh, and uh, let's delve into these because these are pretty good mate there we go mm-hmm looking up so I tried these actually the other night mate bought them and I thought yeah these are decent I had so many rubbish ones in the pub. Um, pubs and social clubs. And uh, we're back to getting some prime ones. They're paper bags or clear bags. Always better than your fancy packets that you get in the supermarkets and stuff every time they're just they're just right every single one of these is pretty much roughly the same uh, shape and size that's a little bit different but yeah it's not inconsistent got the crunch there but it's not too crunchy you've got a softness you've got a saltiness so arguably I think for some people they would say these are too salty because they are quite salty there's a lot of seasoning on there for me I'm good with it but for others whereas I find I find a lot of their supermarket or, or bar packet stuff with the fancy pictures on and colors and everything like that they actually end up being very bland these are not bland cheeky strongbow in between and uh yeah mate i think that's enough said mate um so yeah if you're at the cambridge beer festival um, or a beer fest because I, I would imagine like most festivals do and they've got pork scratchings on and they're coming in paper bags or whatever and they're not got the graphics on give them a try they're probably the real deal they're going to be better man right keep on munching mate